Hey guys, I know I don't look great. I just am finishing up a spring break day camp with a whole bunch of kids and I need to get a video done today for Saturday and it's either get a video or put makeup on so you get a video. Actually I think I still have makeup on from yesterday. It works. Hey everybody welcome back to my channel. Where do I get my inspiration for art? It's a comment I get a lot. So today I'm going to talk about where I get inspiration for my pieces. To give you a really quick answer to that question, I get inspiration for my artwork everywhere. Places that I visit, from music that I listen to, nature. I can see a color or a grouping of colors and be so inspired to do something. I also have really vivid dreams, some of which have been responsible for pieces that I've created. Seeing other artists' artwork, oof, can be so inspiring. But it's also dangerous because you don't want to copy their artwork. But be inspired, yes. Books that I've read, stories that I've heard. As you know, I love creating stories when I do my art. Very inspirational. Photographs that I've seen, that my friends have taken, that you guys have shared with me. So good. Word prompts or challenge prompts can lead to an inspiration of sorts. Or even just a simple word or phrase can lead to a really awesome piece of artwork. So those are just a few of the places that I find inspiration, but how does inspiration really work? I'm gonna take four different artworks that I've done in the past and kind of take you step by step through the inspiration process. And then I have a fun challenge for you guys. Well, actually it's a challenge for me, I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna start working on another finished piece and I want you guys to help me out with the creation process. So the first part is going to be finding inspiration. So if you wanna be part of this creative process, make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. But before I get into my four pieces, if you're brand new to this channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Even this cup of coffee can be an inspiration. I mean, a coffee themed fairy, coffee themed mermaid, coffee themed as I said, I'm gonna show you four different pictures and talk a little bit about the inspiration behind each. So the first picture I'm going to show, and I actually have this one on my wall, but it's so big, it won't fit in this space, but it is my a Mother Orca piece. So let me like show you a little bit here. So this one here is strictly watercolor. And I don't think that I have a video on this piece when I was actually painting it. In fact, I'm trying to pick four art pieces that I have that I haven't made a video on because a lot of times in those videos, I'll talk about the inspiration and how it all came to be. But the initial inspiration for this piece was I wanted to be under the water looking up into the light. And I wanted to really play with the light coming through a kelp or seaweed kind of forest. I'd watch a documentary of these divers going in and just the light playing was so inspirational. The next one is, again, a piece I do not think I have any videos on, but is my very first clockwork owl piece. I've done a two different clockwork owls and several different clockwork themed animals. And this was the first one. This is what started the whole series off. And the inspiration from this was actually, I was commissioned by my friend to do an owl painting. And so I was really excited to really push myself beyond just doing a realistic looking owl or a cartoony owl. And I love like these kinds of knot works and the gears and cogs. And so I had a little bit of inspiration from that. But the owl parts came from a movie a long time ago, the super old, like 1970 something or rather, Clash of the Titans. There was a clockwork owl in that movie. And I thought it was so cool that I thought it'd be fun to make the owl out of like clockwork pieces. And then another inspiration came from the movie Secret of Nim, which had this really kind of stoic, kind of creepy owl. Well, the Secret of Nim owl was really creepy, but you didn't know it was a good guy or a bad guy or what. And so I really wanted to play with uh, with that. So that was the initial setup that inspired this piece for a couple of movies. The third piece here is my Galaxy Owl. Uh, but what inspired this was 
color and just not caring if I messed up. So I just went and threw a ton of colors on the paper. So if you take all the black and white outlining out of there and some of the detailing out of there, you just kind of focus on this. That's what made the owl. And I think it was this really sharp edge of color right here. And there was that blue against that pink. And I thought that looks like something. So it was actually just like, I was just looking at things like this going, what could that be? And then I just sketched it in there kind of. So that's kind of how this piece came, which was just throwing some art supplies out there, making some colors, some designs, and then letting inspiration strike from there. Once I saw the owl, then I kind of went through and, you know, sharpened up some colors and darkened some things and kind of pulled that all out. But initially, it was just the color patterns. The last piece I want to talk about in this video is my Eyes of Blue piece. If this kind of looks familiar, I just did a sister piece to this one, which is Emma Goodwin, done on the same paper from the same magazine. So my dad was out garage sailing and secondhand shopping, and he found this bin of like almost trash. It was just piles and piles of old newspaper that was, they were wet, they were moldy, they were gross, and he dug through it, and at the very bottom, somehow not destroyed completely, were remnants of some magazines. I mean, they didn't have the covers, they were missing half of the book, but there was a couple of good pages left in them. So he got them for me and asked if I could do something with them. And I saw this article on here, which talks about oriental night cream. And I saw this little image and I was reading the ads and I thought that's just so charming that I wanted to do a piece based on this time period on this uh, on this paper and so that's what inspired that piece there so you can see there's a lot of different things that inspire artwork whether it's a special art supply that you're going to use like the paper or or maybe it's just the patterns of colors movies that you've seen in the past photographs or ideas these are just some of the things that inspire my artwork. Now is the part where I need your guys' help for my new finished piece. As I said earlier in the video, I want to create a finished piece, but I want to document every single part of the creation process. Generally, you see the final few steps, which is the actual creating of the piece. Rarely do I show you the beginning sets because you never know if it's gonna make it from this point to this point. But I wanna show you those steps and I wanna kinda of break them down a little bit for you. So the first one is finding inspiration. In the comment section below, write down something that might inspire an art piece. And it can be anything, a word, a color, a prompt, an idea. The thing I would suggest is don't go into super hyper detail, like, I want you to paint a fairy sitting under a mushroom counting ruby diamonds while a toad is licking her foot. Don't get that detailed. It's just supposed to spark inspiration. Keeping your suggestions a little bit more on the vague or creative side, leaving a lot of room for artistic interpretation. As with all of your comments, I'm going to be reading through, but this time I'm gonna pick one of them to be the main inspiration for this next finished piece. After we find the inspiration for this finished piece, the next video I make on this will be getting it from inspiration to idea. So again, if this sounds like something you would be interested in following along on this little bit of an art journey, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. You can also follow me on social media. That's the best place to see the behind the scenes of my artistic life, sketches and things that I've done. I generally post those to my Instagram and I'll have links to my social media accounts in the description box below. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you were inspired in this video to create some artwork. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Keep being creative, and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye!